Today I'm going to teach you how to make recycled rags out of a bath towel. You know, sometimes after your bath towels have, are no longer fluffy and soft, you really need to get new bath towels. Um, so what do you do with the old bath towels? This happens to be a new bath towel, so it's nice and fluffy because I already turned all the old ones into rags. Uh, I forgot to like actually take a video of me doing the whole process with one towel. That'll be at a later date. My first YouTube video. Okay, so what you do is you take your towel, fold it in half lengthwise. You cut off your first selvaged edge down here. I say selvage because this is almost like a selvage. So you use a ruler and a rotary cutter to cut that side off. Usually you have, depending on your towel, I usually like to take whatever my measurement is and divide it by three. And then however many inches that is, I um, use that as my size. Changes all the time because your towels are different sized and sometimes you need more towels than, you know, 12 inches and it's okay. You can do a little bit skinnier towel. Here's usually a 12 inch towel, 11 to 12 inch. And then this is more like your nine inch towel. So you have a little bit difference, but you get eight towels out of a towel uh, with the smaller ones and six recycled rags out of the 11 inch. So this is gone. Measure over 11 inches, you cut. Measure over another 11 inches, you cut. <clears throat> this is still fold it over so you take a pair of scissors and you cut down here at that point in time and now you have six or eight rectangles you know so uh, these are all finished unfortunately I don't have to show you that but you then have six rectangles that you're going to take to your serger that also leaves you with your two strips on either end of the towel. This I'll usually open up and then cut into three pieces. One, two, three pieces. And then I get something like this, right? So this side's not finished. This side's not finished. These three sides are not finished. But they're great for in the garage because usually you don't want anything finished because it could be a really nasty mess that you're cleaning up chemicals or whatnot and you just want to get rid of it. Um, so we use these in that case. And sometimes it, you don't have to clean up very much because you're, you know, washing a car or something. And so afterwards you can just throw it into the washer. Well, it comes out looking a little frayed. Well, it's only going to fray out to your place where you know it's finished um, but you can use it over and over again at that point in time so you're saving yourselves money for rags you don't have to go out and buy um, rags from AutoZone or whatever you know <laughs> so you get six of those and six or eight regular um, recycled rags also so let's let's take our little rectangle of fabric over to the serger. Okay, so basically when you put it in, I usually just come down the first side until um, I get to the end. So when my next side becomes equal to the edge of my serger plate here, I then start to pivot until this 
side is then flush with my um, cutting side. And so now I can just run along this edge. Until I get to the next side corner where I'm going to pivot. Until it's flush and then I'm going to continue. To the next corner and then again I'm going to pivot. This way uh, I know that they're rounded corners. Uh, my floor is not going to care if it's a square corner or a rounded corner and it's just so much easier just to like run around this thing but then again it's not a circle and sometimes circles when we're going to put them away in a drawer uh, just they don't work well so I love the idea of the square or rectangle paper towel but uh, it doesn't matter if it's square or Okay, so you get back to the beginning, and then I just, again, I pivot, and then blend in to the stitching that's already there, and cut it away, and I do that for all eight squares, right? Now these are finished. I don't have to worry about uh, them unraveling in the washer. I can wash them over and over and over and over again. This particular towel is one that, oh my goodness, I got for these. This is what's cool about doing your own towels. So this towel was given to me and my husband for a wedding present, and it still gets used today uh, as a rag. And so every time I go to grab this rag to clean up some new memory that's being made, uh, the old memory comes back too and it's like oh I remember that and thank you so much to the cousins who purchased those <laughs> I know that's really silly but you know it's like kind of like this guy it's Mary Claire she gave me that clock a couple years back so every hour Christmas music it's awesome love you Mary Claire every hour you get a prayer and so these towels came from my mom and they were three years old when I got them from her four years old and then I had them for like seven years and we moved into a new house and we didn't need these towels anymore and so that's when I got my serger and I started making these to learn how to use the serger and today I still have those also you know 23 24 years later they're still kicking and you know 12 years no paper towels brought into the house besides one it's for the dog sitter but she knows where to get the rags too so Go hug a tree. Love you. Bye.